Hello everyone, welcome back to the camper. We are still at Nakalula Falls Campground. We're in the camper right now, obviously. And we just wanted to show y'all the haul from the garage sale thing. Um, I wasn't- This is the first day's haul. This is the first day's haul. In this same video, we're gonna show you the second day. It's still in the back of the truck. We took all this stuff out of the truck this morning before we left, just in case we needed the room. Because in a pinch, we could store stuff in here for the drive home. So we went ahead and emptied the truck this morning. And we, which, we really did need the room. Yeah, it, well, we could have fit everything, but it would have been tight. Yeah, yeah so yeah. we were better off doing this. Today was a better haul than what you're going to see here. But this is what we got. Yep. What we get? Yeah, we got a hat. <laughs> we got it. We bought a hat. And we all had eight times. Uh, Alabama, can you imagine? Yeah, I know. A thing like that. I We're know. buying Alabama hats. They're pretty nice though. Like they have like the lettering around the the rim, at, the rim there and stuff. <laughs> what brand are they? Anything in particular? Made in China brand. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's a pretty good brand. I think that's a pretty good company there. <laughs> but no, the guy wanted. Uh, I think he initially wanted like eight. five five bucks a hat or something. I thought it was eight hat. Or maybe there's eight hats. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there's eight hats. Or one of $4 a hat, maybe. It was probably in the video. What'd you end up paying? Uh, 25 I offered three, and then he said four, and I was like, I'll think about it. That's I don't know why I keep saying I'll think about it on this trip, because that's not, <laughs> normally my, not normally my style. It's very indecisive this weekend. Uh, no, very passive-aggressive. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'm it's, walking away now. Don't, are you going to let me leave? All right, so yeah, we got eight hats. Yeah, and we got some uh, tequila back there, too. <laughs> All right, this is a remote control Mario Th That card. might be, this might be a fail. I don't know. Hey, is that wheel broken? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Or no, or is, I think we're gonna or is it supposed to rotate like that? Right. You don't have to take it out. Leave it in there. Okay. I hope that wheel's not broken, though. I don't see it attached on the front either. I don't, yeah, I don't see. Maybe it rotates or something. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. So would you pay for that? I think we paid five. Okay. No, on that one, we, we, we think the wheel may be messed up. She's like, what did you pay for that? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything to do with that. All I right. did buy this. Yeah, this is a, uh, what brand is that? Pinkle. Yeah. Is it AG, AJ Hinkle or something like that? I can't remember. That. But a knife, knife block. 50 cents. Probably could have left that. We'll, we'll find out. I mean, it's 50 cents. If nothing else, we can burn it or something, I guess. Or, or donate it. Whatever. Uh, dra dragon. What does he do? He walks. Look, if you turn him on, he'll walk. And it was only five bucks, so I decided to take a chance. Dragon stuff is usually pretty good. I don't know. I still have, I have yet to look it up. Paid five dollars for that. Um. Ooh. Okay. Your thing there. This was three dollars. Yeah. That might be a twenty dollar thing. Yeah. We'll see. A little bag. Uh, what was that thing? Bendy. Yeah. So it's supposed to look like a can or something. The backpack is a can. Mm. Yeah. The first sale we went to, we bought, uh, I mean, this is a bunch of these things. These are VHSC, I think. Uh, yeah, compact VHS. VHSCs. There's a bunch of them here. Mm -hmm. Are they all VHSCs? No, those look different. These are different, huh? What's it, what are these? These are not these are not C's. I think these are eight millimeters right here. Let's see. Yeah, these are oh look. High eight XR metal. These are pretty good. So anyway, we got some VHS C's and some eight millimeters. What these are it? HD one tens. Let me see. What is it? I don't know. Are they high definition? I think oh these are just cassette tapes. 
Vance Cobalt. They're high bias though. These are uh, these are metal tapes. Okay. So these might these might have a little value to you them. You can record some heavy metal on there. No, they have metal. They literally have metal in the tapes. <laughs> okay. Cobalt ferric. Put some Motley Crue on there. No. <laughs> Is, is that some pop metal? Is Mot Motley Crue's pop metal, really? But you got you a controller here. That's an Amazon Basics. Uh, there's a the thing though. It says Amazon Basics on the back, but there's an the Xbox logo. Here's an Xbox. How does uh, Xbox? They must have done a little deal. It's a nice controller. It feels nice. You know what the cool thing is? I can, and this is for the Xbox One, I think. Yeah. The cool thing is I can plug this into my computer and test it. Mm. So anyway, the uh, they gave us a real good price. It was $7 for this tape, all those tapes in there, and the controller. So I was happy with that. Um, Got you a helmet, General Patton. Yeah, that's some kind of pilot's helmet in horrible condition. It's really not in good condition. I probably should. It's got like a, it's got like the thing for the mic over here what does it say on it isc telefonico or something like that um yeah it looks like some kind of old pilot's helmet or something pay five bucks some torpedoes. oh no toy pedos toy, toy pedo lsu nope. toy pedos now look the lsu in alabama yeah <laughs> no thanks um here's an interesting thing these if you find like the full size toy pedos, mm -hmm. they're pool toys. You barely push them and they go whoosh, gliding through the water. If you find a full size one, I mean, you're looking at maybe forty to fifty bucks for the full the, for the big one. Sometimes yeah. more. Yeah. These mini toy pedos, I have no clue, but I got them all for a, like a dollar. Make sure when you have the minis when you list them, you put the dimensions in there. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it in like bold. Please note, these are the minis. These are three or four inches long or whatever that is. They, these are the bandits. All right, we got some guns here. Yeah, some uh, cap guns, vintage cap guns. Um, paid 10 base. I paid 20 for all of them or 25. It's 25. 20. He first told you 25 and then. No, he... I think it was 20. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So these are supposedly the, the best of them right here I don't know how well they work uh, it seems like they seems like they work correctly he said this one's a good one but it's got damage issues he said if you can find this one in good shape it's a lot of money yeah that one's about as far from like a horse on the handle it's about as far from good shape as you can get it says wild bill hickok on it pony boy I don't know where this is made. It it has issues too. So these are these are probably the best pieces right here. And these other this one is missing. Yeah, one. these other three. I paid twenty according to King. I think she, I think she's right. I paid twenty for all those. Um, some gloves. I man, I way overpaid on these. I thought they would look pretty nice though. So. Paid 20 bucks for the pair. This one looks brand new, pretty much. I know. It, I thought the condition was good. That That's the nice looking glove there. Probably could have left this one. This is a A440 Wilson. Fast pitch. And this is a Pro Select. A2476. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I think they're pretty good. Um, I got this for me because I, I have a Ryobi air inflator that i keep with the camper and then this is a little um like cutting tool thing that will run off that same battery it's like basically it's like a dremel that, that runs off a battery uh i paid five dollars for that that's mine so we got a couple of uh water filters yeah we got hydrator filters yeah we got a couple but a couple they're mostly now look they're mostly um like knockoffs or third party mm -hmm. so save on filters.com yeah now there's a kit there's a kenmore right there mm -hmm. but the thing i have to be careful of with these and the thing i mean i kind of knew this going in i think i'm gonna have to be careful of vero stuff because i know that sometimes when you list these kind of things 
fits blah 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 um model or whatever like that can sometimes be problematic so i'm gonna have to do a little research make sure i'm good i mean i might even sell them somewhere else marketplace even... or... no i don't want some on mark well, unless i do shipping only yeah but i don't think i would do that or maybe that mercari thing maybe i would try that i've never done that but uh yeah we'll see we'll see how this goes uh with those paid a buck a piece there's about 50 of them there yeah we paid 50 bucks for that bag. 50 bucks for the whole bag this was cool may have overpaid for this but i just i really liked it look look out it looks like it's it looks mint condition but it's definitely vintage and it's uh huh? what is that look at look in there i don't think it's been used it's clean yeah super clean what is that cup right there a measuring cup you think or, or maybe to drink out of huh. it's just weird how it has that slope there what does that mean maybe what's that about it's a little handle oh uh, okay i don't know i'm just guessing anyway i gave 15 for that and the guy would not he was not budging on this thing mm -hmm. what what's wrong i'm just looking at it oh, okay. if you look on the bottom of it see made in usa doubt they make them in usa anymore we should talk kansas and we have the uh the box in poor condition there oh man uh, oh that really. oh that's cool miracle miracle installation i wonder if there's a date on that let me see is there a date on the bottom of it by, by per chance not on this uh yeah i don't know i would guess probably 70s wouldn't you i would say 70s if i had to guess 60s maybe but i doubt it it's probably i would say probably 70s yeah, what's it worth don't know don't know yet but i paid 15. oh it does have the other flat there too mm -hmm. what's that a yeah. get a screw loose all right um oh we got i think this is it then huh yeah it's the last thing in here so this is a box. I mean, I really wasn't crazy about even buying it. She initially wanted 20 bucks for everything in this box. It has a bunch of stuff. It has a bunch of games. I, I haven't looked them up yet, so I, don't, I really don't know. Then there are some controllers in here. Okay, that's a first party controller there. That's a DualShock 3. Uh, it's like decent condition. Some Air Force PX21s by Turtle Beach. What else is in here? Oh, another Dual Shock. Okay, that's good. So, oh, hey, there's a dongle. Rock Band dongle. That's cool. There's some, some Real D glasses. Real D. Okay. I think we got some money in here just for the controllers. I don't know if that's worth anything. That's a Logitech. And a pedal. There's a pedal. Okay. So. Anyway, she wanted twenty dollars for this box, and I was like, Ugh. so I offered ten. But I must look at the games real quick. There's something sealed. Sealed. Where are you going? Putting them over here. Grab those other ones. All right. Let's go through them real quick. But we got more games than I thought, though. All right, skate. Uh, Kingdom Hearts two, I think. Crush Hour WWF or something. WWE. Mm -hmm. All right. Call of Duty, Big Red 1, 2, Call of Duty 2, Turok for PS3, Skate 2, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Black Ops, Motor Storm. What is that? I don't know. Setup. Oh, that's a. What is that? What's that? It's like a. Welcome to PlayStation and PlayStation 3 now. Okay. It's like probably comes with the PS3. Red Faction, Final Four. What? Do you see that one? ATV offer. Right. Who is that? Final Four 2004. Uh, Modern Warfare 2. Oh, look, we have a lot of these first person shooters. Who's that? Is that Brett Favre on there? Yeah. All right. So, anyway, gave 12 bucks for this box. And stick around. We will look at the stuff we picked up today. We picked up, I would say, more today, wouldn't you? Not about more. Maybe bigger, a little higher quality. Bigger. Higher quality. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. This this stuff is okay. Whatever. Yeah. 
All right, gang, welcome back to the shed. Hey, Candace. Hey, we're back. Yeah, we're doing the second half of this haul video. It's gonna be the same video though. So yeah. you already know what's up, but um, we covered day one stuff, I guess. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna look at day two stuff that you haven't seen yet. And uh, this was your find here, Candace. There's Ugh. two of them. Actually, I'll, I'll let you get those out. I'm cameraing. I haven't even pulled them out of the box. I was that one's open. There's two of them. Yeah. The other box is sealed, and um, the lady told me that this one would never been used. But yeah, I look. I, I mean, believe that. Yeah, I look, it's still. Yeah. Uh, the only thing you have to make sure of is that all the parts are there. Well, this it's is been like... opened. So. But yeah, look, these are still sealed. Okay, cool. It's a, a nail polish maker or something like that. Oh, uh, okay. And you said it wasn't in the packaging. It's not in retail packaging. Yeah. It's in like a shipping packaging, probably like if you bought from Amazon or something, huh? Right. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking that is. So this this one will be, if everything's there, new open box. It looks complete to me. Yeah. You got all those. Yeah. There's another one right here. So these sell for twenty um, five. And really, this packaging probably going to ship in this pack. Maybe I don't know. No, this, as a parent, I know, I know, do as not a do that in case it's a birthday present. All right, I'll, I'll Franken box a couple of number seven boxes to to ship that. Yeah. So yeah, Candace, uh, she, she, the lady had three dollars a piece on them, and Candace offered uh, five for both, and then the lady's like, "How about four? I know two two times over the weekend, people um when I went to pay them they they're like oh just give me less like one time it was fifty cents and she said oh just give me a quarter. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, that lady was just trying to get rid of stuff. I wish we could have found more stuff to buy from her, but we just couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. How well, anyway, we'll get this stuff back in. This. All right, I found this transformer. I have no idea how old it's worth. It how old it is if it's worth anything uh, i'm pretty sure it's fairly it looks pretty common yeah it looks pretty new that's what i meant what was that a dollar or two or what yeah it looks like i wonder if his little hand is missing there uh oh yeah he's missing a hand that's not yeah. good if that's modern he's missing a hand that's pretty much all right all right this was a we went it seemed like you know like an hour span we must have picked up grab those two Okay, we all these books are from, of books. These are all from the same sale. Ah, that's right. They're all horses or unicorn horse related. These all are? Yeah, they're all horses. All or horse. Yep. These are all. Uh, so we're going to do one big lot. Equine. Yep. Look at all them horsies. Yeah, that's a great lot there. And th well, those are. not. That's that. a. Okay, yeah. That's a different lot. That's a series. Yep. And y'all know I've been playing around with this. Um, you know, buying bulk books for cheap and making a good little lot out of them to try and make a little profit. And I, I think it's not a bad play. I still believe in it because um, even though a lot of you guys are the ones that bought them, I still think it'll work with general public too. Um, so yeah, we'll see how these do. What we pay for these, Candace? 25 cents each. Okay, awesome. No, we didn't. No. Yeah, we did. That's right. And then these we have. Wait, members. Wait, somebody said. Oh wait, it wasn't a sale. Okay. And then um, this series we have books one through eight, all sequential. That might be the complete series. Huh? Yeah. Speaking of books. More books. We got this whole bag for. Oh wait, there's another horse book down uh, there. We got this whole bag for a dollar. You want to grab that book? This stack was what like. Grab that book. All right. I, I was remembering we had 18, but I just counted 20, so I don't know. Okay, cool. So don't the know. other the other book buy is right here. We wanted just these Junie B. Jones books out of here, and he's like, just take the whole bag for a dollar. <laughs> so yeah. we're like, okay. So yeah, but these were what we were going after. There was another sale where the lady sold us all the books for $2. No, you're wrong about the quarter. Here? She said a dime. Okay. She said a dime, and then she ended up selling them all to us for two bucks. I remember that, because this guy was a dollar. 
I remember that. Yeah. So I don't here's know. Here's some Dora stuff. But here's some other books here. What are all these? Oh, I got all kinds. Oh, these are the Juni B. <gasps> what? Look. There's phone numbers and stuff on here. All right. Oh, look at that. Candace spelled wrong. He spelled it wrong. They have like Daddy Cell Homes. This is some kid's little phone oh list. These books are not in fantastic shape. They've been well used. But we got a bunch of them. Yep. I never even heard of this before. Got a ton of them here. Oh, couldn't pass this up. It's a U line tape dispenser. Three inch. Two bucks, I think. Three. To, oh, I thought it was three. I think it might have been two or three. I think that's a three inch tape gun. Pretty sure. But you already have one, but this one looked better than what I had. Let me, let me compare it to the one desktop. Yeah, absolutely. That, that is definitely a three inch tape gun. So it's brand new. So you bought that to keep? Maybe. I don't know. I, I can't imagine they're worth that much. So yeah. probably we'll just keep it. I need to stock three inch tape. We need to start ordering some. Because on bigger boxes, I do like the three inch tape. It's a nice little luxury. So, okay, so I guess that's mine. I'm gonna look it up though. This is a little game, uh, handheld game thing. It's super cheap at games. It's preloaded. Yeah, it's got a bunch of, oops, on switches on. Hopefully it has an auto off. Yeah, at games right there. It's got, it's got a bunch of games on it. It's like a bunch of Sega games. I don't know, you might be able to put more on it. I don't know. That only go. oh look, it's look a bunch of pages of games. Ton of games on this thing. Oh look, it's, it's got even more than I thought. So you got a chess game. Curling. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So anyway, um, this little thing I was looking at and I was like hemming and hawing. And these must be really cheap because the guy sold it to me for two bucks. So couldn't pass that up. I'm probably gonna sell it though, because I honestly I don't see myself playing that. Uh Ziggy. Yeah, that was pretty cool, huh? Yeah, looks brand new. Um a couple of different coffee cups. What did we say? The insulated year? beverages. 1991. Yeah, it's not as old as I thought it was, but it's still like well, heck, it's 30 years old. There may be some Ziggy collectors out there. I'm sure there are. And we paid two bucks for that. Paid, how much is that? I don't remember. I think the price is oh, on it's it. it's three. Three bucks. It's got a bunch of games in it. It's got that old school looking uh, backgammon case. Yeah. Although it doesn't, this isn't that old, I don't think. You see a year on it anywhere? There's a barcode of some sort. It's not a standard yeah. UPC though. No year. Yeah, I think this is probably fairly, fairly modern. But it's still kind of, oh, that is a UPC. It's still pretty cool though. Mm -hmm. And if it's not worth anything, we'll keep it in the camper. All right, um, paid five bucks. NFL? Yep, paid five bucks for the whole bag. Well, and. What is that? That's not NFL. Well, the guy said, he's like, whenever I asked him how much, he said, oh, well, I was going to sell these separate. And I'm like, oh, well, if you're going to sell them, I was thinking if you're going to sell them separate, no chance. But then, uh, then he so asked me to make an offer. So there's some stuff that are not NFL. We yeah, can probably emoji. lot those together. Yeah, here's some more emoji stuff. Emoji. Some pop culture. Uh, emoji. There's a lot of, oh, here's a, <laughs> there's a lot of NFL there's in here though. Saints. I guess, wait, what is that? Look. They've got them bundled Saints and, not, I mean, um, NFL and pop yeah, that's culture weird. in the same little bag. I think it just happened to be in there. Though. There's no way that goes together. Are you going to do like a variation listing? No, 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 no. I'm going to list, I'm going to list the whole thing. Are you? Oh yeah. I'm not selling each one of these patches. Because they're, I mean, Candace, these, what are these, like a dollar a piece or something? I don't know. I'm not, I don't think they're vintage or anything. Look, John. It's bangles. 
<laughs> oh, look, here's a uh, Chiefs. I'm not a Chief, I'm just saying. Look, here's a Washington football team. But that's not their mascot anymore? No, they're not the Redskins anymore. They don't, they don't even have a name for their team. They haven't renamed it. They're they just, just the Washington footballers? Yeah, right now. Okay. Green Bay, Oop, there's another thing here. Welcome back to the shed. Uh, we are gonna do another haul from the Highway 11 and Antique Alley Yard Sale. <laughs> Antique Alley Yard, yard Sale. That's what it's called. Yeah. Um, we have been back for a few days. We are listing strong. We've got 37 on Monday. We got back here. 37 listings Monday, 34 listings Tuesday. We got 21 so far today. We're gonna get some more because we got about an hour and a half to two hours more to work today. Um, so we're on track, even taking all these days off. Um, we're gonna list hard while we're here and we're gonna play hard when we're not. But we're at 279 out of 480, not including today. So we're actually right now, we're at 300 out of 480. Uh, and, but, and if you're interested in doing that sale, um, we went around the towns of Atala and Reese. Um, if you live in the area, it was fun. Yeah, yeah it was if fun. You're, if you're pretty close by. I wouldn't travel super far just to do that. Yeah. But. It was fun though. No. We had a lot of sales. And we got to go do the, go do all the nature stuff and the camp and stuff. It's just good. It's just good to get away, get out, get, yeah. get away gang right yeah. that's why it's good. change of scenery change of scenery and yeah. road trip we like that kind of stuff so um yeah here's some more stuff that we got and what we did this a lot of the stuff we showed you already we've already listed it and so i brought more stuff in this stuff was still in the truck from and from this the weekend. isn't everything except there's one more item still in the truck one more big item a big item we'll show you in a little bit yeah um we were trying to remember what we paid for these, and I don't remember. The Harley Davidson boots. Still toe, very clean. Yeah, maybe they, they've definitely been worn, I think, once or twice or something yeah. like that. But, uh, yeah, they've got some minor scuffing. Yeah, but I mean, just really, yeah. good, really good condition. Yep. I don't know that they're going to be super valuable or anything, but they're a good size too, size 12. Yep. I think, I think it was $10, but I'm not 100%. Uh, this Roku, I think, was fifteen dollars. Not one hundred percent. I'll have to go back and look at the clips. I don't remember. It's brand new, sealed, and it's worth over thirty bucks. And when you list something like this, it's like pop, pop. Pictures are done. You throw it up there, and when you go to send it, send it off. It's super easy to pack. So I love that kind of stuff. What you got? A Mack trucks belt buckle, two bucks. Yep. Two bucks on it. Some pharmacology study cards sealed. I couldn't find a year on them. I think I'm, I, I mean, I'm a, as soon as I bought them, I, I kind of regretted it. I'm like, man, I should have looked that up because there's a good chance these are just outdated and worthless. And even when they were new, they only cost $12.95. So even for $2, that was probably a dumb buy. I made a few bad buys on this trip, but not too many. And it wasn't for big money or anything. We got five of these little French birdies. That you can, what is that? What is all this? That you can fly in outer space. Look at the... Look, at look the he's artwork. on the moon flying these birds. What is going on here? 1977 on these. Um, it's all in French. So, we got don't... got five of them for like a buck and a quarter. Yeah. But look like they're little rubber band flyers. Yeah, you're supposed to wind the motor 50 times and then... But don't do that. What is that? I don't know. Don't do it, though. <laughs> what is it? What's... What the heck? I have no idea what they're doing. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. Um, Field strength and SWR tester. I don't remember what I actually paid for that. It may have been five or it may have been a little less. I can't imagine you paying five for that. I might have. I don't know. I don't remember. Test the strength of your antenna system. Most things I was like offering a, a dollar or two less. So, it, I, but I don't I really don't remember. It's Radio Shack, by the way. Yeah. I'm just going to sell it as is. I don't even know if it's worth anything. Wireless speaker and subwoofer dock. Boom bot. Yeah. Guy got that gifted to him and he never opened it. 
you know. So yeah, you can put it on the little dock. Or you can wear it. Or when you go skateboarding, you can strap it on you. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do when I go skateboarding. <laughs> so yeah, I paid five bucks for that. I did not look that up. I didn't look that up either. That StarTech phone. Uh, this old flip phone. I don't think I paid five for it. I thought it was cool how they had the box and the charger and the and belt the... clip. Yeah. I don't Man, know what that is. So what is cool. that? That probably cover. I don't know. The screen phone. protector or something. What is that? Mm. Does it go on? It looks like it goes over the screen somehow. Like flip it around the other way. Turn it. Yeah, like that. I don't think so. I don't know. It might not even go with this. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Yeah, I paid five or less. I don't well, know. There is a little spot right here for it. Then. Okay. Hmm. Thing like that. Oh, wait. It's a battery cover. Okay. For maybe an extra battery. I don't know. Um, went to a table and was what looking at for it? five or less. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> went to a table and was kind of looking at these puzzles. And a lady made me an offer, couldn't refuse. They're all new. All sealed. She she said, $2, take them all. Yep. And I couldn't resist. And I didn't even look them up or anything. They could be absolutely worthless, or we could have $50 a piece puzzles, although I doubt it. Uh, I think they'll make some money on that, though. Mm -hmm. Very easy to list and ship, of course. Yep. Um, and last thing, some baseball cards. Uh, a bunch of wax. Oh, it looks like you sorted them out, huh? I did. I think you got the full box here. Um, 1992 Series 1 and Series 2. So, probably got 36 of these about. And probably like 30 of these and or I'm something. And I'm assuming this, these were underneath wax. The wax packs, we didn't even know they were in there. I'm assuming that's what was maybe taken out. Yeah. Uh, so. so, I mean, even the junk wax is doing pretty good now. They wanted 20 bucks for them. I paid it 20 bucks for probably 60 plus wax packs. That's not bad, even for junk stuff. So um, I'll probably run that at auction. Maybe one one or two auctions, probably two auctions, I guess. Series one and series two. So uh, yeah, we just got a, another thing or two and that'll, that'll wrap it up. We're gonna go get this listed now. All right, we got everything listed today, same day that we showed y'all a minute ago except for the wax i'm gonna save that for tomorrow that'll be easy mm -hmm. uh we've got a total of just wrote it down we've been cooking 37 34 37 so that total is not updated though no the total's not i need to fix it 37 plus 279 316 yeah oh by the way new guys without jobs this is going to be way later that you see this guys without jobs number 27 is up uh, it might be a week later before you see it. This is the last piece here. Four, Big old heavy sign. It's not yeah, forty five dollars. Yeah, that's what we paid, right? And we were told it works. We don't know yet. Yeah, I don't really care. I mean, I care. <laughs> I mean, I want it to work, but it's still. I mean, it's got value either way. I think, man, look at all the LEDs. Yeah. I hope it works because if it works, this thing is. Wait, hang on a second. Hang on. We need a moment here. All right. I'm gonna shock myself. I can't see where I'm plugging it in. Give me some light. You're good, look. Here, I can plug it in. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh! Woo! Look at that. Oh my gosh. That is sweet. That is beautiful. Look, it's even got the little registered sign here. It's gorgeous. And the backlight's up too. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Where are we going to hang it? You want to keep it for real? <laughs> I mean, wow. Golly. Man. That is so cool, isn't it? Now I want to go get a donut. I know, me too. It looks like a light bright. Yeah. <laughs> that is cool. Man. Let's turn around and see what it looks like. Can you, can you do it? I'm just going to, I'm not turning around all the way just so y'all can see. Oh, the, the other light. side is not that cool. Yeah, I imagine this goes inside the store and this points out. Mm -hmm. So, man, that is something else, though. A thing of beauty. Yep. Man. Okay. When that the was... light's on, that means the donuts are hot. No, they have a hot sign now. Yeah, hot donuts or whatever. I have, although you know this, this probably isn't that old. 
I don't know. I, I would I would guess not. I don't know. Oh, guess what, Candace? What, the construction of this is actually exactly like a light bright. Look in there. There's like little pegs. Yes, in? there are pegs. I thought it was LEDs. It's not. There are pegs in there. Oh, it's a big light bright. It is. It's litter. It's like it's a oh, light bright. That's crazy. Can you believe that? That's smart. Then you don't have to worry about one little light going out. I know. Hmm. So if it, if it does go out, you just got to replace the bulb. Yep. That's no big deal. Okay. That is awesome. Yeah. Uh, would you, who would have ever thought of something like that? I wish I could show y'all. Y'all might be able to see. Let me see. Can y'all see in there? The right I'm telling y'all, there's a bunch of, there's a bunch of little pegs about this long. Yep. And then the, the light is shining into it and it looks just like LED. That is, this was like, this is that by far the coolest time. Whenever I asked him about how much this, this sign was going to cost, look, this is kind of romantic by the, the, the glow of the donut sign. I love the neon donut sign. <laughs> look at it. It is a nice, it is a nice glow. Look at that. <laughs> oh, I could be a donut model. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well what were, oh when i asked the guy how much it was how much did you think he was gonna say oh at least 100 i thought he was yeah i, was, I thought he was gonna say 150 or something so when he said Cause four, it was kind of late it was almost like noon how did that not get bought and it was still sitting there how did it not get but we looked at it and we're like man that is the coolest freaking thing ever <laughs> we might just have horrible a thing taste. Maybe we have, I don't think so. Everybody else is like, no, because why would you want that? No, that's not true because we, when we looked at the comps, we know this sign's probably worth about 250 Yeah. Um, but I just can't believe that was, this was like the last sale we went to too. Mm -hmm. You know, we almost, let me get by the light of the, the glow. Uh, we almost, I almost passed it up. We like, we were on the way out and I spied that place and I pulled in like it was a sudden thing. You didn't thing. even see the sign, also, because um, they had tools and stuff. Yeah, it looked like some. Although we did buy something else, we, we bought, bought a, a shower head for the camper. Yeah, uh, what, what's it called? I that don't brand? Remember. Something Genix. Yeah. I can't remember. But then we saw this, and I couldn't believe it when the guy said forty-five dollars. And then I'm like, okay, it must not work. Yep, it works. There it is. What a thing of beauty. Hmm. A thing like that. Anyways, that's everything that we got. Candace, she looked very, very beautiful. No, seriously, it's not. It's a nice effect. <laughs> You're such a nerd. <laughs> what? What do you mean? Only you would like a girl that's like lit up with neon. <laughs> no, I just like the lighting. So, very subtle. Very subtle yet gaudy <laughs> at the same time. <laughs> kind of like me. All right, so uh, anyways. You're not subtle what you're not subtle okay anyways um that's everything that we bought at the highway 11 sale um the water filters total of those i listed them all 570 bucks or so that's about what she told you she said you're gonna make about 500 huh yeah and yeah so it was very easy work um i probably i might have spent three hours total listing them it ain't gonna take long to ship them either. Sold a couple already, um, and the account hadn't that account hadn't been taken down yet. Yet, yet, yet. <laughs> that'll be another video, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on that. You, you'll know you'll know it happened when you see the the clickbait title. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways, thanks a bunch for joining us, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, guys. Bye.